Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. My name is Virtual Nunchucks. I hope you're having a great Wednesday. I hope this video finds you well. Uh, if you're new around here, what we do is game reviews, opinion pieces, news updates, and of course gameplay of the latest and greatest games coming out. And every once in a while you get to hear me talk about different things. As well as uh, we do disabled gamer features like peripherals, like game controllers and, and accessibility features in the latest games and stuff like that. Because I'm a disabled gamer and it's an important feature to me, so if gaming interests you at all, consider subscribing and turning on your notification bell so you're notified of whatever content is the channel. Uh, content hits the channel every Monday through Friday if I can help it, unless of course real life gets in the way. Uh, but the intention is to do uh, Monday through Friday content for you guys, so I hope to have you along for the ride. Today what I'd like to talk to you guys about is uh, kind of continue the, the thought that we had in a uh, previous video that I had done about the Madden franchise and how uh, Madden has gone downhill since Madden 05. Uh, there's no innovation, there's no new features, there's no uh, there's no new things uh, that really propel career mode or franchise mode to the next level. They always focus on Madden Ultimate Team and stuff like that. And I went through all that in the previous video. If you want to take a look at it, you can. It's on the channel. Um, but today we're going to talk about what franchise modes and career modes get right. For example, uh, in MLB The Show uh, from Sony, your career mode uh, most recently, anyway, has been like a documentary series of a, of a player coming through the minors and kind of has a voice over every once in a while when you make different choices. Um, how you interact with your teammates in that game, for example. Um, if you make friends with them, uh, you can become friends with them or you can uh, ignore them. It affects how your team plays as a team. Uh, it affects how you interact with that team. And it also can affect how you learn, if you're a pitcher, for example, um, if you learn different pitches, uh, obviously you learn different pitches, but what I mean is, if you're friends with the pitchers, in the rather in the bullpen or uh, on the starting rotation, uh, if you become friends with them, they will teach you new pitches, and it and you know it helps your player. You can choose your own personality from being a team captain to all the way down to being a loner. Uh, and it affects how your team both interacts with you as well as uh, how your uh, gameplay on the field happens. But something that they do right in franchise mode, uh, if you want to start a franchise you can, you have access to all of the normal stuff like free agents and and lineups and coaching staff and all that stuff, but what they what makes it really cool is they give each player a personality when you start as an owner of a franchise, you have to look at the personality of each player and what those players need to help them feel like playing for you. For example, uh, some players want better equipment in the gym, uh, in the training facility. So if you purchase certain equipment, players are, are happier. Uh, if you uh, purchase first-class tickets instead of uh, commercial uh, for flights to games. Sometimes they're happier. Uh, if you can purchase your own team bus instead of having a charter bus, they're happier. Uh, you can you can choose sponsorships for your stadium. So like for example if I was the, let's just pick somebody, if I was the uh, Tampa Bay Rays, I, I grew up in Tampa, so if I was the Tampa Bay Rays, okay, and I didn't want to call my stadium Tropicana Field anymore and I looked at the sponsorships available to me uh, I could choose a stadium name uh, that would then of course translate into all the commentary and everything they would it would show up on the graphics and everything but not only that but I would get uh, choices of of um, sponsors so like if I changed it to I don't know um, uh, oh goodness, Simply Orange Stadium or something like that, then um, I would get that name as a sponsor, and then that sponsor would give me goals to set. Like, for example, have uh, 50,000 fans uh, in, the, in the stadium for the first four games of the season, or, or have a certain number of home runs, or a certain number of wins, or whatever. 
and then I would get paid based on the contract that I signed a certain amount of money. I could also set different advertisers around the stadium, have different billboards for different companies, and they would also have their separate goals, and they would give me money based on if I met those goals or not. Something else that was really cool is that you can set a concession staff. If if uh, you want to be cheap about it, you can set very few concession staff. Um, but if you want to keep your fans happy, you have to uh, upgrade the stadium just like you do in Madden or, you know, whatever. But you you staff your, your concession staff and your prices uh, correctly and make your fans happy. You can uh, do all kinds of crazy stuff in, in MLB The Show that you can't do in Madden anymore. Um, they also, in MLB 2K, uh, MLB 2K, I wish, in, in, in uh, NBA 2K, they also, their career modes, uh, give you a story. They've tried that with Madden. It's called Long Shot, and I, it's a very boring uh, mode for me. Um, but they, but in NBA 2K, not only do they give you a story to follow, that sort of starts out at the beginning. You're kind of set, whether you're drafted or whether you're not. You got to go over to China. I think in MLB or in NBA 2K19, you had to go over to China uh, before you got drafted to the NBA or whatever, or or you know, were accepted the NBA um, or signed, whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. Um, but anyway, you were. You were given a set story for, I don't know, maybe sometimes 20 minutes, sometimes an hour, depending on the thing. But then that story would evolve based on choices you made. For example, in MLB, or MLB, I keep doing that. In NBA 2K14, uh, if you chose to, let's say, for example, invest in a upstart uh, sports drink company, uh, you could choose whether or not to do that. And then, um, depending on how that plays out, the commentators for the games that you're currently in would speak about how you've invested this money and what happens to it if it folds. They talk about that. If it succeeds, they talk about how you've made money off of it. Um, they talk about rivalries between you and maybe a, a teammate you were in college with, and you guys make separate friendly bets on how many points or whatever you can do better than the other guy and they talk about that and it carries over and they talk about you know the commentary talks about ownership problems or, or personal problems that you're having or or you know plans to renovate the stadium whatever you do they talk about it and it carries over my favorite and my favorite thing about NBA 2k is that you could even do endorsements like for example Gatorade or or uh, my favorite endorsement is when you finally get the shoes. When Michael Jordan finally signs you to a contract to get Nike or Jordan shoes, you can you can design your own shoe and have your own shoe specific to you, uh, and then you know you get to have that. And and in some versions of the game, it even boosts your stats a little bit. It doesn't just look cool; it boosts your stats. Plus, you get uh, paid uh, the virtual currency that you use to upgrade your players. Um, a certain amount of that for having that contract. So, I mean, there's so many different things that like Madden can take from these different uh, games to improve their franchise mode or the career mode or whatever. But they don't um, because they they they've made their money on Madden Ultimate Team and they think nobody cares. Um, and it's really really sad to see. I would love to see. Madden or uh, or you know even some of these other uh, franchises start kind of tweaking it a little bit I appreciate that NBA 2K and uh, MLB the show have not sat on their loyal laurels and said okay well we've done enough they always try to push it a little bit uh, sometimes it falls flat sometimes it doesn't um, but it's not something that uh, they they take lightly. They actually try to make it interesting and engaging because that's the most uh, engaging uh, modes that these two games have. 
Madden tried it with Longshot, but like I said, it's a very boring one-sided story, and there's no real payoff at the end. It's just a story, and when you're done with that story, you're done. You don't get to carry that over to the franchise. You don't get to carry that over in a separate career mode or, or a continue that career. Once you're done with that story, you're done, and it's it's unfortunate uh, because that was something that you know I think people would go for. I can remember... Um, when I first heard about uh, my career mode, play as one specific player, that's the only position you play, don't worry about it, I thought, oh cool, Madden's finally doing that, but then I played it, like in Madden, I think it was 08 was the first time they tried that, and it was done by radio announcers and all this kind of stuff, and it was bleh, but then it got better, got a little bit better when they actually allowed you to actually have, you know, TV commentators again, and all that stuff, but uh, it's just not the same. I'd rather play MLB The Show or NBA 2K if I'm going to do a career mode. That's just me. Um, but that's my opinion. You guys can let me know if I'm totally off or if I'm crazy in the comments section below. Um, and I will certainly talk to you about it. Just remember to be respectful. I'm always respectful to you guys and I expect you to be respectful to me in turn. We can always disagree, but we can do it uh, in a kind manner. Okay, that's all I ask. But uh, you guys can certainly let me know if I'm off my rocker a little bit. Um, I love sports. I love sports. I've always loved all kinds of sports, whether it's football, baseball, basketball. I wasn't really allowed to watch basketball as a child, but there wasn't anything wrong with it. It was just a simple preference <laughs> that my parents, specifically one of them, had. Um, we could watch it all we wanted, but she has a thing about um, squeaky noises. My mom does, and uh, she couldn't handle the squeaky noises on the on the court, on the TV. So if we watched it, we had to turn it down. Uh, and um, I grew up in a football and baseball state, so I didn't really care about NBA too much. After, especially after Michael Jordan retired. So it is what it is. But uh, anyway, I like it now. I always have, so it's all right. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this mess in the comment section below. Let me know what you'd like to see in your franchise modes, whatever game you play, in your career modes. What would you like to see put back in it? Or do you have ideas that you'd like to see put in it uh, that no one's thought of yet? Um, let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated because it does show your support for the small people like me trying to make it on YouTube. And uh, I appreciate everybody that subscribes. I really, really do. I appreciate uh, your support, and I appreciate you hanging around. Uh, tomorrow, we might have some Call of Duty news for you guys. I'm not real sure. Uh, we're going to take a look at it and see. I do know that in a few days, Season 5 starts. I'm going to see what I can dig up on Season 5, see if there's anything that's been released so that we can take a look at it and know what's coming. For those of you who are Call of Duty people and, and care about that kind of stuff, uh, and then, you know, I am looking forward to reviewing, again, Ghost of Tsushima. I'm planning on getting that probably the beginning of the week. So we're going to get that and start putting that up on the channel, review that for you guys, as well as uh, review in September, Marvel's Avengers, and I hope you guys will be around for that. Uh, in the meantime, though, you can follow me on Facebook.com slash Virtual Nunchucks. I'm on my Twitter account most of the time, at VNunchucks, and I'm here on YouTube all the time as well as twitch.tv slash virtual nunchucks. So I hope you guys will follow me over there on my social media accounts because you never know what you're going to see over there. Uh, I put articles and stuff related to games. I put all kinds of stuff on my Twitter account. So I hope that you guys will follow me over there so that uh, you can be uh, up to date on some stuff that maybe I don't cover on the channel all the time. Um, but I hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you in the next video. And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. And of course, hit your notification bells, okay? Have a great day, guys.